Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, I want to take the time today and talk to you about hope. Being a man born and raised in New York, I hope for opportunities growing up. My parents both being immigrants, one from Puerto Rico, the other from Dominican Republic, we hope to accomplish the American dream. My mom's from Puerto Rico. She moved out here during high school. You know, that's as far as her education went. My father, I don't even think he finished high school. So I wasn't from a traditional educated family as far as university goes. What it was like in Albany, if you're not paying attention, you could end up dead. You could end up in prison. It's just so easy to get caught up. So that's something that I always knew that I didn't want to do. I've always been great at math. I always knew this is like a ticket of getting out. I started at WCC fall semester of 2014, and I was working about 50 to 60 hours a week getting probably two hours of sleep. I remember having to walk to Ann Arbor to Ipsy, getting an hour of sleep to wake up to take the bus because the bus wasn't running at the time. The fall 2017 semester, I failed out. And that was due to working too much. Even though I didn't do great, I knew I liked what I was doing. So I knew what direction I'm in. I just have to put in a little bit more work. I had to scratch and claw to pass classes like calculus, analytical physics, uh, programming. I was always the oddball in these classes because there were students who were younger than me, who were more familiar with the material, and it just made me, you know, just feel like, can I really do this? But then there's hope. I had to push myself by myself until Susan Dental and the STEM scholars found me. And I thank them because it made me feel like I have somebody behind me. Just staying afloat. I had to work two, three times as harder. I had to do it. So once I got accepted to the STEM scholars, me and a couple other STEM scholars became paid tutors. And that job actually was really helpful. I liked the whole idea I was on campus. You know, I took some of the toughest courses within the year that I was with the STEM scholars, and I got through them, showing us how to look into ourselves. And I don't think I would have been mature enough to understand that everything's a process. It's hard, but again, that drive, and I, with Everything that I learned from there, and then adding on to my drive, and then something just told me, like, click, okay, you could do this. I go to financial aid, and they specifically told me about the foundation scholarship. Received the scholarship every single time, helped me out. I graduated spring 2019. My mom actually drove all the way from New York to see me walk. It was a really great moment. There is still hope that I will get accepted to Wayne State University to get my bachelor's in electrical engineering because that's where I want to go. That's hope. There is always hope. I want to thank the WCC Foundation for supporting me through my journey and keeping me hopeful. I want to thank all the WCC Foundation Scholarship donors for keeping me hopeful. Thank you for everything, and I will not let you down.